What's up everybody, it's Keegan Lanier with Keegan Lanier Media. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, uh, we cover Divi tips, business tips, WordPress tips, and a lot of things in between. So if that sounds interesting, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you can come back and get all those latest tips as soon as they drop. But today we're talking 100% about how to build a blog archive inside of Divi. So let's not waste any time. We're going to jump right into it. You can see we're here in the back end of WordPress. Um, I'll always go through this. So if you're new again, this is what we do in every video version 5.5.1 of WordPress. And we'll go over to themes. We'll check the latest version that we're running of Divi. Click over here. And the current version is 4.6.6. That says a, the late October release. And again, you know, we're going to go in, we're going to build this layout in the visual builder as a blog archive. And technically it can be an archive for any blog post or any uh, post type that you have inside of WordPress. So the first thing you want to do is go down here under Divi and go to the theme builder. We'll open up the theme builder and we've already got a default global header and footer we've done in different tutorials, which we'll link up there. Uh, so that you can check out the video on how we built an entire site using Divi. But this is kind of a continuation. That was a very basic few page site, nothing special. Today we're going to continue to add on to that. We're going to hit add new template. And what you want to do is go here to all archives. If you wanted something that was specifically for your posts, you would select blog. And let's actually, let's just do it as a, as a blog. And we can, we can also do the all archive types and those will work. And honestly, if you want consistency across your site and you want them all to look very much the same, you should select the search results as well. If you have that turned on on your website. So we'll go ahead and create the template. You can see a few things happen here. First thing is that the global header, the global footer get brought over they get brought over so that this page will use what we have globally. And anytime you make a change to the global header and footer, it changes across your site. Next thing we want to do is hit add custom body and we can build custom body here, or you can add from library if you have some other themes or some other layout save, we're going to build a custom body in this video. And what it's going to do is take you into the visual builder. It's going to load it up and you're going to get the three options you see every time we load up the visual builder, build from scratch, choose a pre-made layout or clone an existing page. In this layout, for this example, we are going to choose a pre-made layout and we're using this fitness layout with the yoga instructor on the top. So we're going to do fitness. We've got the fitness coach. And what we're going to do is look for a blog page and see if they have anything in here. So it looks like they have the actual blog layout, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a blog archive, which doesn't seem to be inside of this layout, which is okay. Um, you can see in some of the other layouts, they have it. So like this, this fitness gym blog page does have it. So what I think I'm going to do is kind of mix the two together. So we're going to click here and we're actually going to use this because I really like the layout that they have here. I think it looks sharp. It looks very clean. So we're going to hit use this layout and then it's going to import that layout into our site, into our page. And then we can go and make the tweaks that we need to make from there. So you'll see we've got this, uh, this different feel up at the top. It doesn't blend in with our site so much, but we've got the blog content here. I'm not a fan of this either. So what I'm going to do is clean this up. I'm going to delete this a bit. Um, I'm also going to delete this and then I'm going to hit this right here, load from library. This will give me the similar options to what we had when we did the page. But in this instance, I want to keep the, I want to keep the look and feel of the site pretty uniform. So I'm going to go to my existing pages and I'm going to take <clears throat> the contact page and import it into my page. There is an option at the top. One thing you do want to make sure is that you don't overwrite the content that's already here because I wanted to keep the blog posts there. Then I can delete this row. Um, we can delete this section, the frequently asked section. Um, we could keep this at the bottom if you wanted. Um, in this case, I'm actually going to get rid of it. And then I'm going to click the top section and drag it below. So from there, we would just edit the page. I want instead of it saying contact us, I want it to say blog. And let's see, maybe there's a different image in here for a header that we could use. Maybe we go this route. So we've got, we've got our blog header. We've got our layout here. 
that could be it if that's all you want to do and we can hit save here and what i'll go ahead and do is um, is add a featured image to this and i'll duplicate this particular blog post so you'll see what the grid looks like so once we hit save we can exit here and anytime you create a new template in here when you exit the visual builder you have to hit save changes up at the top or else the changes you made here will not take place if it's a template that already exists when you save it it will automatically make those changes but if it's a brand new one you have to hit the save button so we'll go back under post because we want to update our blog post and we have this test blog post that we're going to edit all right and so we're in the in the actual blog post and we want to come over here to featured image I'm going to set a featured image here. And so I want to pick from some of the media library that we already have, which doesn't look to be much. I guess we've got a few images. Let's make something that's fitness related. So we'll pick this one, we'll hit OK, and we will publish these changes. And we want to view this post. So we're going to open it up and see what it looks like on the front end. You can see that our blog post layout is very, very basic here. We've done nothing special and we haven't even added our blog page or our blog archive to the menu. So let's go to the back and we'll show you how to integrate that in the menus. We'll go to the main up here, go to menus. And we're going to add this blog to our page. Now it's in the menu. We'll go back into the front end. And we'll click over on the blog. And what's this is exactly what I knew was going to happen because we've not set our blog page up in settings. So it's just that very basic layout. So the next step that you'll want to do is go under settings and reading. And under reading this post page, you want to select the blog page. When you do that, your blog page now becomes associated with the layout that we just built because we checked the blog. Remember um, when we went back in here under theme builder, this right here was set up under the blog page. So we want to use the blog page to show that layout. Since we just assigned the blog page, we can go back up here. We can click on blog and you're going to see we've got the blog header that we built. We've got our posts and this will be our blog archive, right? So we'll go under here, we can click test blog posts and it's gonna bring us back into the post that we haven't built a layout for. It's just a very basic one, but the principles of what we just did are exactly the same. In the theme builder, we could go down here, hit add new template and all posts, create a template and then add a custom body the same way we did before. We can copy from the blog template that way it literally takes this layout that we just did and it copies it over and we can make a few quick changes to it. So, you know, rather than it saying blog up here, let's actually take this heading to and we're going to make this dynamic content for whatever the title of the page is going to be. We're going to hit this right here and we're going to make it a heading to. So now that this is done, the title of the blog post will show up here and this could get really big. So maybe we'd want to change the style, but if not, this could work right here. And then instead of the blog module that we have here, we want to delete this and we want to add the post content module. We add that and we are ready to save. We'll hit save. We'll close out of here. We'll make sure we hit save changes right here and let's just take it back one step back into the blog i want to show you remember this is our layout we've got our blog archive here and when we click on a post like this test blog post it'll go into the new layout that we just made it says test blog post that's the title and then what we had down here in the content before is now showing up down at the bottom so that's pretty much the easiest and simplest way inside of divi to make a very quick blog custom blog layout, um, custom blog archive. And that's how you make sure if you can't, if you assign something to that blog and you don't see it, and you go to your blog page and the layout isn't there, make sure that you go back under here, under settings, on the reading section, and make sure that the page that you have your blog layout assigned to 
in this case blog, um, is selected here as the post page. That's the only way that that layout will associate um, with the, 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 the default, <laughs> excuse me, having a hard time talking. It's the only way that it'll associate with the default blog page of your website. So I really truly hope that, that that gives you some insight into how to set up a pretty basic blog inside of Divi. Uh, should be some value there for you. I appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, you like what we covered, you like the way I talk and the way I teach, um, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button, press the bell if you really, really love what we want and you wanna make sure that you're the first one to see these videos. It would mean the world to me. I would appreciate it so much. So thanks again for watching today's video. Go out there, be kind, put this stuff into practice. Uh, stay safe, uh, wear your masks while you're out there and have an amazing week. We'll see you in the next